The intro seemed fine last time, but we'll, we'll see how the demo video looks this time around. I suppose I should do my usual introductions, but I'm going to wait until I see that everything is okay. And this looks good. World-class rugby. What's up, Rodriguez? Welcome. Hey, right, fingers crossed. Here's hoping the demo video looks accurate. If not, I'll get in game myself and see if it's accurate or not. And if not, I don't know what else we would try to do. But we're definitely running in the correct console mode now. Alright, here comes their here comes their test. Right, that looks so much better. Okay. It's just to explain for anyone who's just showing up. We're tuning in because I'll just, uh, we'll start around here. We're at YouTube. I'll trim the fat of the technical difficulties. But I needed to get PAL mode running on my console to play a PAL game. This is world class rugby. We are. Getting into my very first rugby experience, I don't exactly know how this game works. I kind of know a few things on it, but not a lot, so good luck to me. This game is developed by Audiogenic, I think. This is their first game on the Super Nintendo. This is not. This is their second game on the Super Nintendo. They also developed... Krusty Super Fun House. That was quite a long time ago. So it took them like two years to come out with another game of their own. And they're tackling rugby, not a sport you hear about often. At least as an American, I don't hear about it often. And based on what I'm seeing here, we have like a First person ish perspective. Some mode seven happening here. And it looks very much like football. I suppose the game is similar to football. Oh, you're right. I do have the wrong number. Thank you. We are typoed. That was a good catch. I hit zero instead of nine. We are game 298 in the challenge, almost to 300. So, if I can learn how rugby works, maybe this won't be so bad. Looks like a line out gives two points to the other team. So, don't run out on the line. The playbook is interesting, I guess, because you can sort of see them moving. That's weird. So you just throw the ball down the line of guys and they all try to catch it. And there's some sort of pile up. And the one thing about rugby that I do know is you have to run the ball to score and you can only ever throw it backwards. To your teammates. Yeah, you can never throw it ahead or that's a penalty. So I do know that rule. But that's about all I know about rugby. Uh, from what I understand, there's multiple different kinds of rugby. I don't know which one this is. I believe the differences are how many players are on the field. There's like a world class rugby and then a regional one or something. I don't know which one this is. I can't tell how many players they have. I'm just gonna let this demo video play out so I can get some ideas. <laughs> Here's hoping we can change the time limit of the game. I love shortening my sports games to make them a little more condensed. 
Looks good though. And I guess I should feel <laughs> feel quite something because this is the first time ever I'm gonna experience a PAL game running at its actual PAL Hertz ratio 50. I hope it doesn't look weird to you guys because my OBS is capturing at Super Nintendo frame rate, which is a little over 60 frames per second. But now that we're on a game that's running at 50 hertz, I don't know if that's going to affect anything or what. I have no idea. Alright, we look like we have a tournament, we have a league mode, we have a handshake, and we have a team of guys. LR does nothing, select does nothing, start does nothing. Is this options down here? Teams, Ireland, computer, player, computer, okay. So you can customize your teams. Yeah, I like the character. Bright. They look fun. They all have like the same face and just different facial hair. It's too bad. Stamina, height, weight, speed, agility, kicking, handling, and fitness. Weird stats. Uh, X goes back and this changes. So we have, let me let me go over these. Ireland, Wales, France, Australia, New Zealand, Romania, Argentina, Canada, Fiji, Italy, Japan, USA, West Samoa, Zimbabwe, England, Scotland. It's a good fair few teams. Hey, we're gonna do tournament mode. I always do tournament mode. It looks like there's no options to set, so that is unfortunate. Oh, there's a code. So there's a password system. That's a good sign. I, I guess I'm hitting... Oh, there you go. Start new competition and oops. Oh, wait, what was the other option then? It's a very slow menu. World Cup. England computer, New Zealand computer. Okay, I assume this is time. It was standard on the, the list setting. I don't know if this is like the lowest setting. Wind speed, you can customize. Field. Alright, well it was on that one. Pictures. Okay, let's see who's fighting whom. Standings. It's kind of hard to read this menu. What is this? Don't watch computer games. Yeah, we can turn that off. Start match. Well, did I even pick a team yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or just 7. Alright, let me see if we can't start a new competition okay so this is the settings screen so yeah we don't want to watch ai we want short games i guess i'll leave wind and field generic it says england is computer and new zealand is computer is this going to be another case where i don't actually have to play the game these european sports games are so weirdly programmed uh i'm listed as one does that mean like does this who i play as yeah, let me look at the list. Let's see if I can correlate that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight games happening, so I don't know what the one that's seven is for. This could be a case where you can only watch the tournament mood, and I'll have to I'll play an exhibition match or something. You can change their jackets. But you can't change the team. Alright, okay, well, these guys were... Ugh, they were black! Can I, like, undo that? I mean, do this one. I don't know what that top option's for. Okay, there they go. They're in their normal colors, I think. 
So, why? This is all 18.15. Oh, right, because we're not watching a game. Well, this game might be piss easy to beat on the side quest if there's credits after this. It looks like the AI are the only one that can play. I don't even see a way to make a computer human. That's their team. Ah, okay, there we go. Well, since it's optional, that still abides by my rules as long as I get credits. <laughs> We've had this situation come up before. I will play an exhibition match, but let's get through this tournament and see what happens. Also, this password screen kind of sucks. It's all the clocks are just changing to different locations. It's not the most memorable password screen. It's unique, though. Alright, hold on. How long does this tournament last? Pool 1, pool 2... They all had games already. There's only seven of them, so... I'll just keep going for a while. I want to see what happens. Nice music on the title screen. Whoops. Continue. It has SRAM. It memorized my password. should have looked up what is an average rugby tournament's length how many games do they do each i'm looking at some of these points like 47 they just scored is rugby usually a high scoring game i don't know Doesn't seem like the tournament comes to an end so far. <laughs> I think we gotta probably get through each team. Ah, oh, there you go. New Zealand won. Okay. And that was all. There's no ending for the uh, this mode I, anyway. So the league mode has a password screen as well. League. And it looks like we can do the same thing, so let's find out what happens here. There's a lot of customization. I love European sports games for this reason. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna count this. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, I need mean to back out. I might restart me, I'm not sure. <laughs> let's uh let's take a look at the this or not that. Let's take a look at this. Oh, am I in World Cup mode? Did I hit the wrong mode? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's not gonna restart me. That was fifteen. France is leading. I wonder what the best team is in this game. Or what the best rugby teams are in general. I suppose strongest, not the best. Oh, that was like 18, 19. 20 and 21 22 23 There's about 23 games and they have the same ending I'll leave this on for a second if it just loops. Yeah, we can listen to the song. So, like I said, I will play an exhibition match, but we've had this scenario before. European sports games, there's been like a couple soccer ones. Soccer. Or football. A couple football ones. That are the exact same way. There's no ending. It doesn't matter if I play it or let the computers play it, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to do like an exhibition game and putz around for a little while to enjoy it. And then we'll consider this one completed. It's just a leisure title on the challenge because there's no credit screen to earn seemingly. Imagine this is an exhibition game. Friendly! Where is the United States? I may as well play as USA, even if they're crappy. Would have the eagle icon. I think we're fighting. You know what? This game came out in 93. So, let me look up the 1993 Rugby World Champions. And we'll play them. It was England. Wait. Yeah, it was England. Okay, I just had to double check the information. I thought it was like held in England. So, I could be the worst team versus the best team here. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'll just leave all these settings as default. Let's play the game. And I'll just stay as red shirts because it's thematic, I suppose. I do like all the customization options in this game. It's a lot more presentable looking than some of the other PAL exclusive we played so far. Let's see if we can't figure out how to play. Kick off. Okay. He threw the ball to me. He lined out. Line out. Line out. <clears throat> Got some uh, audio. Let me turn this game up. Bad. I am noticing this game. Uh. The audience is completely coming from my right ear at the moment, so... I don't know what any of these plays do. Let's just do this play. I don't play rugby. Uh... 
Okay, B button throws. I don't know if this is all, all the magical or what. Okay, they got the ball. I was gonna say that it sounds like the game is mono audio. Oh, I scored. Seems like I could press the A button to change who I'm in control of. I don't know if there's a tackle in this game. Are you allowed to tackle people? Doing a conversion kick. Kick missed, apparently. Huh, they have to hit it like really diagonal or they have to hit it straight across from where they scored? Possibly. So the more central you score, the Good easier goal. that shot will be. I don't know if I can kick it further than that. Okay, Y jumps. X jumps. Line out. Line out. Guess we're doing that play. That was our only choice. And they got it like right away. Huh. I'm not sure what to do in that like uh, group huddle. Line up. The game is definitely stereo, but the crowd is just on the one side. <laughs> like, what does this play mean? Are you supposed to just, like, pass the ball to all your teammates in rugby? And lots of passing. Oh, they got it again. I think I have to hit a button there. Still not sure what to do there. Oh, I got it. Oh, we going. Oh, we going. Wait. <clears throat> I don't understand how the... Why we, like, throw it their way. Ooh. <laughs> Get the ball. It looks like... It almost looks like if you get tackled or something, you have to abandon the ball. Oh, he got it. Okay, there's a dive button. I got it again. I don't know how rugby works. This is very confusing to me. <laughs> Ow, I'm supposed to hit the A button. I see you wanna you wanna push them away so that you get over the ball and then toss it backwards to you. I'm not sure if it's the button mash or hold the button. It seemed like they were pushing me back, but I'm I, I see what's happening. A little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Half time. I like these cartoon animations. They're great. I will say the game has a very clean aesthetic to it. In game, it doesn't look too bad either. game sprites. We played a lot of sports games now. The crowd is pretty good looking for... Well, the crowd is actually really good looking for 1993. Oh, you have to hit L and R.
I don't know how to pass, so I'm just going to go for touchdowns. <laughs> I call it a touchdown. I don't know what the technical term is. So you have to hit L and R, and then the mashing A at the same time. It's actually really weird. But I'm winning! <laughs> oh, Bombre. You could probably learn how to pass the ball now. Yeah, okay, you don't have to hold up on the D-pad, so that makes it a little easier. A passes. B passes. I don't know if it's worth it to pass. Oh, come on, you're, you're free, number nine, you're free! Okay, I don't like the fact that you can't really see where your guys are from the bottom of the screen. Ooh, and you have to quick- you have to quickly switch. You have to like quickly switch who you're in control of because your AI seems pretty unreliable. Are they scored? Is that our goal then? That's unfortunate. <laughs> Whew, this game is a workout on the fingers. I was smashing L and R. I'm not used to doing that. Kick scored. I don't know how they see what they're shooting at. Alright, one second. I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna do a thing real fasty, fasty. Halloween art contest, if anyone wants, react to the image. <laughs> uh, sc scroll up, it says Halloween art contest. It's uh, a, it's what costume question mark. No, you're good. It hasn't fired yet. <clears throat> Mark. Mark. Oh, did they do like a touchback or something? Is that what that is? Oh. time. Yeah, we'll play this again. No, 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 noise. It's kind of fun, actually. It's not bad. Although, the button mashing is just a workout and a half. One second. I gotta take care of some stuff. But I just gained five more. What the fuck? Oh, I guess it didn't give me my five. Okay. 
monkey claps its thing, huh? Okay, let's, uh, let's do that again. I'll be USA. But we'll play someone else. Let's play the... Let's play New Zealand. In honor of my friend that lives in New Zealand. Uh, play New Zealand. Or not fight them, but play them. See if we can't figure this out. Get yeah, golf. I have no idea where I should be kicking the ball from. Huh, apparently they can kick it back immediately. Damn, this dude's fast! <laughs> yeah, I need to get the ball into 11 more often. Line out. Line out. Oh, you know. I still don't know what any of these plays mean, though. I guess the thing I'm most confused about is... So I know the ball can only pass backwards, right? But this thing, it looks like... Like they're passing it backwards to the third guy, he runs up... A, or the fourth guy, he runs up a bit, goes past the third guy, and then throws to the third guy. The only thing is, what's the point of these plays? If I'm in control of when the passes happen, the AI doesn't do anything. You know? What, what's the fucking point of that? Looks like we got to kick the ball. Oh, no! <laughs> I was so ready to run! Yeah, how, how do they... How do they keep doing that? Go, my people! Get the fucking ball! This team is beating my ass in the grapple match. Line out. Line out. Let's try this again. Yeah. I've got to learn how to get around, guys. Oh, do I have to hit a button to, like, touch it down? Did I score? Did I score? I might have to hit a button to touch it down. I think I reached the end zone. We totally fucked them up. Saying. Ooh. Just let number nine have it. <laughs> go, number nine, go, number nine. I don't understand the, the pile-up system in the video game. <laughs> it's like some of the NPCs won't go and help them out. They just stay there. They're like, oh, there's five guys pushing us and we have two pushing them back. Maybe we'll just cheer on the two. I'm sure there's a rhyme or reason to it.
All I need is number nine to get a score. If I figure out what the, the put the ball down on the field button is. Good goal. What? <laughs> Why would I do that? Scrum. That scrum means. They chose to play. That is tough. The AI is really good at button mashing. All of the shoulder buttons. fast too. How oh, did he get the ball? Oh, you have to go past the net. So maybe I didn't make it last time. Oh, this game is tired. <laughs> yeah, it's such an old man. Kick scored. I need to pause. Excuse me. Good goal. Rugby is so weird. Get the ball. Really <laughs> right there, I want to square once. Time for the mitts running out there. I'm getting too tired. <laughs> I can't find that. Now I got the ball. Time. Yeah, I want to go again. Okay, again. Another, another match and. <laughs> the happy face is ending. Bum, ba, dum, bum. All right, why don't we play a different team? We'll play as the best team. See if it helps. <laughs> My beginner ass. Play the. Play Canada. Not the first. <laughs> Let's play Canada. Look how happy they look. Good goal. Kick off. Oh, wait a minute. 
Hold up. Oh, there's a replay button. And you can, whoa! You can freeze. You can slow down to watch your play. You can rewind and you can fast forward. That's a cool feature. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in a Super Nintendo Sports game before. But, um, I don't know if I'm playing this. I think the AI are playing. Yeah, because I didn't pass that. But we should be the white shirts, right? Am I the white shirts? Am I playing? I can't tell at the moment. Apparently, sh no, I'm not in control. It's the AI. A line out's advantageous. Line out. Well, let me reset. So I want to be in control. I thought I was in control. Welcome back. It's just time to see the end of uh, world class rugby. Thankfully, we have a nice and short one here. This is good. Starting to drop some frames, it's sad. Takes a little bit for this to get started. Dun 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 Hells yeah. Also hells yeah. Okay, sorry. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it back in there. Get another exit shot. This game's actually really fun. Human. Let's try this again. Get golf. Get golf. <laughs> They're picking the play. Sucks that you can see the play that your opponent wants to do as usual in those sports titles. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Okay, you want to hit the B button to dive. To put the ball down. There might be a way to just touch it down. We're winning! Let's see how this kickoff thing works. Conversion kick. I'm just gonna aim like that because I have no idea where I'm trying to aim it. Oh, okay. So, camera angle makes it hard. I guess I would have had to have hit it like far on the right side to kick it left, possibly. I'm not sure. I would need Time to practice that. That is a downside of the game. I don't understand this. It would have been nice if my, my control switched to the other player. But why do they kick it to us? Wouldn't we want to kick it to them? And, and rugby does the winning side get the advantage? The side that scored gets the advantage. Hmm. 
<laughs> so we just lie down on the ground. Somebody get that. This is really not a good position to be in. <laughs> Line out. Got it. Running, 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 running. <laughs> he just ditches the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so weird to me. Outpower them! Damn it. Yeah, number four is pretty fucking fast, too. <laughs> yeah, them boys. Oh, shit. What? Knock on? I don't know what a knock on is. That's what that means. Knock on? Scrum. So we have to fight for it. Scrum, gotta do a little scrumming. Well, having a stronger team stats wise does alleviate the button mashing required to do that. Um, hello? <laughs> I hit the, the fucking pole. <laughs> That didn't count. I hit the fucking ball. Alright, so I'm gonna imagine... Oh. Right. If I hit it left, does that curve it right? Or do I hit it right to aim it right? Because of the angle I'm looking at. I'm gonna hit it right to aim it right. Okay, you hit it right to aim it right. Oh, I should have aimed it a little lower. Almost lost the point there. Oh, would you lose a point? For failing that for some reason? I don't know anything about rugby, really. Kickle. Kickle. I do know we're kicking Canada's ass and then we'll be done with the game afterwards. I just have to deny them from scoring twice. I don't understand why the team that scores gives receives the ball. That seems a little imbalanced, but I mean, I guess it works. The halftime screen is the same whether you're winning or losing. Kick off! Kick off! Okay, you have to press the Y button to throw to the left, and you press the A button to throw to the right. I'm learning. Damn, they scored on me. <laughs> That's not good. That was really bad. I probably should have just uh, did a line out on the right hand side. Tell me that made it? It looks like it was nowhere near the inside. Alright, uh, we still we still ahead, we still ahead. Just need to get the ball back. Get off. Get off. 
So if I hit up, is that further? The higher up I hit it? Ah, that's how it works. I was hitting it low. Initially. Guys, get in the tackle. Get in the scrum. Get in the scrum. Thank you. Three points for number nine. They can't. Oh shit! <laughs> How'd they catch up? Damn it! Number nine is tired, I can tell. He's running slower. My thumb is getting tired too. I don't think I felt this tired on a SNES game since War of the Monsters, where you had to fucking button mash like crazy. Never catch up to me now. Alright, uh, yeah, you can't see the thing, so it's just a fucking guess. This, I guess this is my least favorite part of the game. There's no way to move the camera here, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I have to shoot it way harder to the right. Way harder to the right. That would take some getting used to. I guess it's a limitation of this game engine. I'll give it credit that this this game is running smooth as hell for doing this kind of mode seven. Like we played other sports games that were way laggier. <laughs> but it ran harder, harder. Ooh. Get fucked. Yeah, we won the game. <laughs> oh man, I fucking like the inside part of my palm where the thumb is attached is in pain. With rage indeed. I don't see that emote too much anymore. Alright, guys. That's going to be all for World Class Rugby. So, like a lot of these Euro games, you don't have to play the tournament or the league. They all have the same ending, and you can just watch the AI do it, and that all counts towards my rules. There's no credit screen in this game, so we just show it off. It's a cool game, though. I like this. I actually like this more than I thought I would. Uh, I don't know about the sport of rugby itself. It seems weird, but it's definitely a well-made game. Probably the best European sports game we've played so far on the system, easily. <laughs> uh, if I didn't mention it, this game actually did come out in Japan, but not in North America. GG indeed. I'm not prepped for the next game. I'd have to go fetch the box art and stuff, but we can do that. We're gonna move on to the next Super Nintendo game. Looks like I finally get to make some progress today. 